The council elections are just around the corner. This week we head to the polling stations to elect folk to look after our bin collections, deal with local infrastructure projects and to stop a second independence referendum, somehow, if you're listening to the Tories or Labour. For the local elections we use a voting system called STV, or the Single Transferable Vote, which, fun fact, gives you the chance to not only vote for who you want to see elected, but also to effectively vote against who you really don't want to see elected. <coughs> Here's how it works. Scotland has 32 local councils, which cover the entire country, and each of those is made up of several wards. Let's take a look at Perth and Kinross as an example. Perth and Kinross has 12 wards that make up its council area, and each ward will be electing three or four councillors depending on the size of it, and those councillors will come together to form the local council that looks after the entire area. So you're voting to elect folk from your local area to represent you in the council, basically. When you rock up to the polling station, you're going to be given a ballot paper that looks like this. For the purpose of this video, I've replaced all the politicians with different types of jam. You're voting for jam, possibly tomorrow. So you have your choice between all these candidate jams and lemon jam? It's... I don't, I don't think lemon jam is a thing. I, I, I don't think that's a thing. That's not a thing. You're going to be voting on this ballot paper. Unlike other elections though, you're not putting an X in the box of your favourite candidate. You're going to be ranking all the candidates in order of preference. So you put a number one next to the candidate you most want elected and a two beside the second and so on. Technically you don't need to use all your preferences but you really should and I'll come back to why in a moment. Fast forward to 10 o'clock, the polling stations are closed. If you missed your chance to vote, it's too late. An angel version of Pete Postlethwaite is not going to show up and give you another chance to do so. And now the fun begins. Well, it's fun for me, okay? Let's see we're in Strathallan Ward of Perth and Kinross. We're looking to elect three councillors for this area. Everyone's first preferences go into the system. Clearly, Strawberry and Nettle are in the lead. Nettle Jam, that, that one's definitely not real. Really? It, uh, okay. They may be the most popular, but that doesn't mean that they're going to get elected yet because they haven't reached the quota. The quota is a number worked out using this formula to set a base level of necessary support before a candidate can be elected. Just having the most votes doesn't get you elected unless you are like super popular. As you can see, nobody has reached it yet, so the eliminations begin. With the least amount of votes is this weird little purple party on the end, the Gooseberry Party. They're not very popular in Scotland and they've got some really weird opinions on gorillas. Because they got the least amount of votes, they are eliminated. Now this is where those second preferences come in. Everyone who voted Gooseberry as their first vote now have their votes moved to whoever they had in second place. Still though, nobody is over the quota line, so the Raspberry candidate is eliminated next, and their votes are distributed to their next available preference, which in this case is all Strawberry. Still, not over the quota line though. So Blueberry is next to go. And there it is, Strawberry have crossed the line. Strawberry is elected. But there's a problem. Now Strawberry has too many votes. Okay. See those extra votes over the quota? Those now need to be redistributed. And that's done using another formula to proportionally redistribute the votes fairly, depending on the preferences of those who voted Strawberry. There it goes. And what do you know, that's enough to bring Nettle up to the quota line. Well done, Nettle. Two candidates are elected, but we need three from this ward. Lemon is eliminated next, leaving only Orange. Well, they haven't hit the quota because they are the last jam standing and one space is still open, they get the spot. So there it is. Strawberry, Orange and Nettle are all elected to the Jam Council. And that's how the STV voting system works. Now, here's how to use it to your advantage. If there are any candidates you don't like, <coughs> you can vote them last. This means that at all times your vote is working against them being elected by keeping other candidates ahead of them. I know it might feel like you're giving them a vote by stabbing that number into the box beside them, but consider it a vote against them more than anything else. If you only put in a few numbers on your ballot and those candidates aren't elected, your vote just stops counting after that, meaning you've lost the chance to push a candidate <coughs> below a different, less worse one. Under STV, there is no such thing as a wasted vote, no matter what, you're helping shape the council. That is, unless you don't vote, till you bulk. You have the chance to use your votes to clear out our councils from those trying to cut our public services and worse. But if that isn't enough to consider, remember this. You can be sure that even if you aren't using all your votes, they definitely will be. Thanks for watching.